Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the QGIS profile tool in order to quickly visualize the cross-sectional profile of a DEM just like this. Also in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compare the differences of two different DEM products like Aster and SRTM and how to compare the differences in terms of its cross-sectional profiles just like you see over here using this very convenient profile tool of QGIS. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Alright, so to get started first, go ahead and open QGIS and before we do anything, first we need to install one plugin called Profile Tool. Now, in case if you do not have this plugin, you can simply go to Plugins and go to Manage and Install Plugins. And from here you can simply search Profile Tool. You can see that it's already over here, the second option. And just click over here to install that plugin and make sure that you are connected to internet. All right, now once you have installed that, if you go to plugins over here, you can see that under profile tool, you will see that there is one option called terrain profile. So this is basically what we what we need for this exercise. Now, in order to demonstrate this to you, I have actually downloaded two DEMs, one Aster DEM and one SRTM DEM. So what I can simply do is I can first go ahead and drag this and drop it over here and you can see that I get the DEM like this. Now from this information you can see that the elevation actually varies from about negative 108 all the way up to 2019 meters. I'm not so sure about these numbers negative 108 but, but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to worry that much on those specifics. And for the same area I have also downloaded and clipped one SRTM DEM. I can simply drag that and drop it over here like this. Now you can see that if I turn this top layer off, it's basically the same region, but the data comes from two different sources, one from SRTM and one from Aster. So what if you wanted to see the differences of these two different products by inspecting a cross-sectional profile of this DEM? And you can do that quite simply by using this profile tool. All you have to do is just open this terrain profile option. And from here, you can just not only get the cross-section of a DEM for only one layer you can actually add multiple layers over here and you can do some sort of an on-the-spot comparison as well that's actually what's so cool about this tool now in order to add different layers all you have to do is just select the corresponding layer which you would like to add right over here and after that click add layer and you can see that this layer has been added into this window now similarly i'm also going to add this srtm layer as well simply by first selecting it over here and then selecting add layer over here. All right, now you can see that these two are actually in our window already, but I would like to assign two different colors because when I draw the cross-sectional profile, I would like to see the differences in two different colors. So I'm going to retain this red color for Aster. And while I do that, I would like to change the color of this SRTM into maybe let's say something like dark blue. Yeah, now whatever the section that you will actually see over here will be displayed in blue color for SRTM and in red color for Aster. Now when you take your mouse, now when you just take your mouse somewhere over here, you can see that the arrow point changes into a cross, which indicates that you can simply draw a cross section just like this. You can either draw the you can either draw the section using just one line or you can actually keep on drawing like this. And once you're done, you can simply double click in order to conclude your section. And as you do that, you can see that this display actually drew the graph concurrently, isn't it? And now you can see that we have two lines, one line in blue color and the other line in red color. Now you can actually move this graph around simply by clicking and then moving your mouse around. And not only that, you can actually zoom in using your scroll wheel zoom in or out and from here you can see that when you move your mouse point over here just draw your attention to the DEM as well you can see that there is some sort of a button which moves along that section from there it shows us actually which part of the section we are inspecting in terms of the in terms of the elevation profile over here now for example if I want to see maybe this one of these peaks you can see that obviously the data has some sort of a difference isn't it because it's coming from two different sources in general you can see that 
the pattern is almost there but if you zoom in you can see that actually it consists of quite a number of differences some micro differences especially over here let's say if I were to zoom in you and if I just drag this somewhere close to this Y scale you can see that this this point in the aster product it's actually about 1375 but in the SRTM product it's about 1440 42 so that's actually quite a big difference isn't it so similarly you can see that you can just pan it around and see what sort of differences you can actually expect when you get the data from two different sources like aster or SRTM so in addition to learning how to use the profile tool in QGIS you also learn that when you download data from different sources like aster and SRTM it's not going to be exactly 100% same because of the way those products are processed and there are a few other tools that you can actually make use of for example let's say if you have zoomed in like this and if you would like to reset your weave you can actually simply click over here and it'll reset your weave and not only that if you would like to save this graph let's say as a png you can simply click on the save as button over here and then you can just name it as let's say profile and and from here you can see that now the graph has been saved into a separate PNG as well. So I guess that's about it for this quick tutorial. I hope you learned something new and if you did like the tutorial don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button and also you can consider subscribing if you do like to see more interesting tutorials like this in the days to come. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.